Hey everyone, this is Mark Skipper Mark, and today we are going kayaking in Narragansett, Rhode Island. The Petaquamscut, or Narrow River, as it's more commonly known, is a very popular recreation area in Narragansett, Rhode Island. There's a launch for car top boats about 25 miles south of Providence on the southwestern side of the Sprague Bridge. It has a small parking area, porta potties, and a grassy area for boats set up. There's a trailhead that goes down to the river's edge, but it gets so overgrown that most people just walk down the grassy hill. One thing to watch for is the motorboats. The river is shallow and they have to travel in a defined channel, but many of them don't follow the law and slow down. They'll just zoom past as close as they can. This boat hit something and they were barely out of the channel. There was a loud crack and then the motor flew up, causing the boat to stop instantly. The main beach area is less than a mile downstream, but depending on when you launch, getting there can be easy or difficult. The tide in the area is about four feet and the current can be very strong. So we try to time our launches so we're heading downstream with the outgoing tide and going upstream with the incoming tide. This way we don't have to work so hard and paddle against the current. Also, depending on the tide, there can be lots of sandbars. This is kind of fun because it makes neat little spots to pull up and enjoy a sandwich, as we did here. On a busy weekend, you'll find motorboats, personal watercrafts, kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards all pulled up on the shoreline, with everyone having one goal, relax and enjoy the sun and surf. When the tide recedes, large pools of water are left on the beach. As the day progresses, the water gets hotter, but the pools turn into puddles and then eventually disappear into the sand. I think what makes this area so popular is the variety of water conditions. On the northern side of the peninsula, the water is calm and it's great for floating around, but the current can be strong, so be aware of that. People actually use the current to their advantage and will drift on surfboards and noodles downstream towards the ocean. We like to put on our life jackets and float on our backs as the river pulls us downstream at several miles per hour. On the ocean side of the peninsula, the waves can be big and people use them for body surfing, practicing sea kayaking and all kinds of things like that. If you walk along the ocean to the southwest, you'll come to the Dunes, which is a private beach club featuring both clay and asphalt tennis courts, several swimming pools, cabanas, and more. After having enjoyed several hours relaxing and having fun, we decided to head home. Unfortunately, the current was at its strongest, so Matt had to hold Nancy and my kayaks so we could get in and not get pulled downstream. Of course, because he's young and strong, he had no problem getting into his and battling the current alone. Because the current was still strong at the boat launch, I stayed in my kayak while Matt and Nancy took theirs out of the water, and then they came and helped me take mine out. If you have any questions about Narragansett or kayaking in general, please leave a message in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer as best I can. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.